Well, welcome to the award ceremony for the CAT Trial 10 Tech Test. I'm Griffin Riom. I was one of the hosts along with Rutledge Wood uh, for the event, and I'll be your host today. We are thrilled with the tech test and the latest video on our CAT trial series, which uh, the trial series itself features our product and services and a wide range of challenges limited only by the imagination, really. The CAT trials are a hit around the world, and we're confident that trial 10 will carry on with that tradition. Uh, so today we want to honor uh, our participants as well as some participants who ended up winning. So uh, we're thrilled to be joined by our CAT leaders as well on the line. We have Phil Kelleher, Dave Faber, Victoria Morrissey. They will be presenting the awards as well as members of the Construction Trade Press. We had Larry Stewart from uh, Construction Press and Wayne Grayson from Equipment World. And I also want to give a huge, huge recognition and shout out to our 18 contestants. We had uh, contestants from all over the country. Normally with COVID, um, this would be a global event. And because of uh, the environment that we're in, we had to keep it strictly within the states, unfortunately. But we still had an awesome event. Um, got to meet and talk to some awesome techs from around the uh, dealer community in North America that was great to work with. So it's awesome to see. Um, you know, this message continuing on. So uh, for anybody that may not have heard, or just a real quick uh, recap, the CAT Trial 10 Tech Test is an obstacle course that challenges the skills and endurance of our service techs and uh, technician apprentices as well. The CAT Trial videos will premiere on Tuesday, March 23rd. So please make sure to tell your family, friends, coworkers, dog, anybody else you think is gonna be interested in this. Um, please, we want as many people to watch it and share this as, as possible. We want the world to know about the great work of our service techs and the great work that they do and in a reality based uh, obstacle course. I want to um, introduce our uh, presenters. So to present third place award, we have the global marketing and brand manager, Victoria Morrissey. For second place, we have the global service general manager, Dave Faber. And to present the winner, we're joined by America's distribution services and marketing vice president, Phil Kelleher. Victoria, I give the floor to you. Thank you, Griff, and welcome everybody. Thank you for making the time and thank you so much for your passion, your commitment and what looked like a whole lot of fun. Um, it was an honor to be at Edwards and I did get the chance to watch many of you run the course uh, and all the competitors gave great, 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 amazing effort. And like Griff said, really thrilled to host all of you. Um, but let's get on to the awards. So our third place finisher started off in the military and was going to school to be an x-ray technician when he found out about and then got into an apprentice program. He'll tell you that working at Caterpillar has opened many doors. Currently, he's completing his bachelor's in business administration and then will be pursuing business administration as a career. He wants to take his knowledge as a mechanic and apply it to the management side of things. And we're, exceeded, we're excited to see how far he goes. So in third place from Wagner Equipment, please put your hands together for Renee Sanchez. And to present the award is our very, very special guest, the dealer principal of Wagner Equipment, Bruce Wagner. Bruce? Victoria, thank you very much. And Re Renee, congratulations. We're very proud of you. Um, you did a great job. Uh, it's, it's exciting to see somebody come out of the apprenticeship program that, that actually is our apprenticeship program that's been going on for a number of years. And um, it, it's great to have wonderful employees like Renee, especially that have got goals like Renee has gotten. And uh, it, every dealer principal here, as well as all those around the world, um, would be excited to have somebody that's that are looking forward to the kind of goals and have the kind of goals that Renee does. So, Renee, congratulations. Um, that course actually looks a lot like the stretching course we do every day at El Paso. So he was a natural on it, I'm sure. So congratulations, Thank Renee. You. Thank you, sir. Well, good job, Renee. Congratulations to you. So you. Um, next up is the award for second place finisher. And for that, we'd like to welcome the Global Service Manager, Dave Faber. Thanks, Griff. You know, technicians are the heart and soul of our dealerships. Worldwide, we have more than 70,000 dealer technicians every day coming to work to service our customer, and you are and are going to become some of the, uh, the very best. So my hat's off to you. 
when we promise our customers their equipment is going to be available, it's on our technicians to make that happen. And we're extremely thankful for the excellence and the professionalism that you all bring to the job. But when it comes to work, our second place finisher has always been a hands-on person. And so when he got a chance to become part of the Think Big program, he never looked back. And he loves that the work he does supports the people who are building a better tomorrow. In second place, from Peterson Cat, let's give it up for Ulysses Perez. <laughs> to present the award is our dealer principal of Peterson Cat, Dwayne Doyle. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Dave. And uh, Ulysses, uh, just congratulations. Uh, got the award here. Look forward to giving it to you in person soon. Uh, Ulysses is part of our San Leandro team and uh, just really proud that you're representing Peterson. And, um, you know, when I asked uh, your supervisor some things about you, he just said, you know, uh, Ulysses is competitive. He's got a great attitude. Um, he's fun to be around, honest, eager to learn and um, just a great teammate. And from day one, uh, he said he remembers you jumping in, helping to work on a paver on your first day. And so we're just so thankful you're part of our team and congratulations and uh, uh, such, a, such a great accomplishment. So look forward to many great years ahead with you on our team and uh, thanks again for representing us well. So congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate the kind words. Congratulations, Ulysses, and to the team at Peterson on the accomplishment. And then we'll finally the, uh, transition to the moment we've all been waiting for. We're crowning the winner of the CAT Trial 10 Tech Test. And to do that, I'm pleased to introduce the America's Distribution Service and Marketing Vice President, Phil Kelleher. Hey, thanks, Griff, and, and uh, great to be with everyone today. Um, and I just have to say what a remarkable event we saw from January and, and obviously uh, from a CAT perspective, we're extremely excited to see this uh, get published and, and uh, spread around the world uh, next month. To see all of you putting your skills uh, in the spotlight and have you do so well is a testament to all of our technicians around the world. And we have uh, approximately 150,000 of them helping support our customers uh, every day. Service techs are our first line of, of defense sometimes and, and many times offense uh, for our customers and, and you make us proud every day um, supporting our business and really making our business run. For our winner today, it's a, it's a family affair. His dad ran an equipment yard um, that his grandpa started and he worked there until he got a job at the local cat dealership. He says he wasn't a great student in high school, but when it came to hands-on classes, he excelled. And we definitely saw that in the competition uh, for the tech test. And so with that, um, I'd like to uh, announce and recognize from Hawthorne Cat, let's congratulate Andrew Coloma. All right, bro. I'm taking first place. Andrew, congratulations. And I'm very proud to introduce the dealer principal of Hawthorne Cat, uh, David Ness, to present the award to you, Andrew. Hey, Andrew, Dave Ness here. Um, I wish I could be there with you. Um, what an accomplishment and what an awesome uh, program. You know, I want to thank Kat for the trial 10 and keeping it going through uh, through the pandemic. Uh, what an opportunity for you to show off your skills and passion, you know, that you just can't train passion. And from six, six years old and, and nine years old, working at a working at the antique tractor, working on antique tractors, uh, your dad must be so proud, and uh, I hope you uh, you share that passion with all of our technicians throughout the shop, and uh, you pass that along to the next generation in San Diego. So uh, congratulations, well done, uh, well deserved, awesome job. Thanks so much, Dave. I uh, really appreciate the support from all of our dealer leadership as well uh, and recognition and uh, making the best of our virtual environment. As the show comes to a close, I'd like to once again thank everybody, uh, you know, our contestants, leaders from Caterpillar, leaders from our dealers, uh, those who sponsor the individuals coming out to within the dealer network, the technicians program, 
uh, technician programs, as well as the hosts, our judges, the mentors who were there on the sideline, the production team that showed us, showed all of us, and we'll show everybody as we spread this message out in public, what a difference service technicians make for our customers. Thank you for watching uh, the Catch Trial 10 Tech Test Awards okay. show, and remember to wait until Tuesday, March 23rd, before we share and launch anything. Thanks again. Have a good day, everybody.